Hey guys, welcome back to another session of Europa Neuralis 4. Now, I just want to say a big update on the whole entire uh, mega campaign thing that I'm doing here. Um, sadly, I can't convert my UE4 saves into Victoria 2, which is pretty fucking annoying because I really want to do it because in Victoria 2 you can actually see the countries become communist or fascist or reactionary or radical radicalize and stuff like that sadly I can't do that but what I have done to kind of make this mega campaign go on longer than the normal extended timeline of um, of Europa is I've gone to the defines.txt which is has like all like the coding and stuff and you can change the date and what I've done is I've changed the date the end date to 2020 so hopefully we'll be seeing this game go on till the early 2000s and stuff like that so we're gonna have to kind of put our imagination into it of to how the countries are doing tech wise and all that good stuff but hopefully it doesn't you know uh, hopefully it does go well hopefully I might be able to convert my save who knows um, I've just been having some issues with the converter that I use it used to work before but it just doesn't work any anymore so it's kind of annoying but anyway so let's get on to um, what's been happening in the world sorry if I'm speaking really loud uh, so in Spain here and all that um, it's just completely taken over by the Aztecs in France here it's completely taken over by the Aztecs as well we still have a few counties that still have core claims such as uh, Maine and not even Brittany anymore I don't think no because a lot of this land around here was owned by the cults of the Hootsies and they did pretty well um, to survive but they've been get attacked by Aquitaine, Bourgogne and the Papal States quite a lot in the last session that we had. Uh, in Italy here we have the Papal States. They only started off with a few little counties. Now they've grown to have the whole entire pretty much uh, what it would be today as Italy pretty much. But instead we still have the Ibrahimids here that have a little slice in Northern Africa. Um, <coughs> Same goes again with Northern Africa. We have the Jalids who have been colonizing a lot of the wasteland here and colonizing a few parts of this area, which is quite cool. And they've taken over a lot of northeastern and eastern Africa here, which is quite interesting. Uh, so in Saudi Arabia, in the Middle East area, we have a few places. We have Armenia, Durban, which has grown quite big actually. The Trebizond, uh, Trebizonds, which did have quite a big uh, country going around the Eastern Black Sea and into Italy, well not Italy, um, where Byzantium would be at this point in time, uh, but now all we have is Greek, uh, or Greece so to say, and now we have the Bulgarians um, taking a lot of this land. Um, down here we have Syrian Arabia, because Syria is now here, obviously Syria is around here, but they got moved over here when uh, the Mong uh, Mongols actually uh, got eradicated from this area. We also have Kositan, um, Kositan, Kositan, yeah, Kositan. There you go. Kiva, Kiva's got a bit of land up here. Afghanistan is at war with the Sankovats at the time. I saved this. Uh, they're losing this pretty badly, so I don't know what's going to happen here. We have Dihistan. Um, in India, we have a few countries here. We have the Chikors, we have the Rash, we have the Rajputanas, we have the Chalaktitan. Oh, fucking hell, I do not know how to pronounce any of these names. But yeah, so we do have quite a few nice bordered countries here. Uh, the same can go for Europe as well, where Bulgaria, Carpathia, Pomerania, it's all very nice. It, we're coming to the point now where a lot of small countries are either being eaten up or they're actually taking over other small countries and becoming bigger, which is quite interesting. In this part of the world here, we have Brunswick. That's quite interesting. Yeah, Brunswick is down here. <laughs> we have the Nindaros, Kola, uh, Jalair, which has parts here. Ostanlandet, Livonia, Jamia. We do have Poland here, which is quite interesting. Lithuania. Uh, over here in Russia, we have still the Mongolians, uh, well, the Mongols, 
the Mongol Empire, whatever you want to call them. Uh, they've been split up massively, though. Uh, when we started Europa, they were massive, but they ended up being completely destroyed. Um, Sudao, Buyatia. Going into Asia now, we have Korjin, Ming, Korea, and even Japan's form, which is very interesting. Now, this is where things get very interesting now. Um, so, in colonizing, in the colonizing part of the world, we have a Russian country actually colonizing, no, not a Russian, an Indian country, sorry, colonizing Eastern Australia here with the example of, who's colonizing that? With also another, uh, I think that's another, let me have a look. It's the Sank. I think it's a Middle Eastern country. No, it's not. Yes, it is a pretty much Indian country here. So we have the Indians actually colonizing the world here at the moment, which is very interesting. Um, here we go with the uh, colonization in South America in America. We have the Creek, Colombia. So we have Creeks here colonizing. So their tech's quite high. The Aztecs, of course, because they've got a lot of land. I mean, a lot of land. Um, we have Korea, Ming, and also Aztec up here as well. So some Asian countries are now colonizing as well. As you can see, Korea is absolutely massive. Um, we've got a lot of calls here from different countries that are not there at the moment who have been recently taken over. Anyway, so, um, like I said, I just want to apologize if I can't convert us into Victoria 2 and then Hearts of Iron 4. Um, to be fair, you're really not missing out on much, to be totally honest. Um, the only thing you're really missing out on is countries forming into communism and fascists, where it doesn't really do that much, but most of the flags just change. And Hearts of Iron 4, I've tried a Victoria 2 to Hearts of Iron 4 um, uh, conversion, and really, uh, not a lot happens uh, because all the countries don't have a lot of units, not a lot of wars happen, not even you have world tension up to 100%. Anyway, let's get on with. Uh, this today's sessions of Europe today's session of Europe Uralis 4. Uh, let's see how it goes. Uh, let's first head up to Ledger and see what's going on with the relations and see Daisy current wars. Right, so let's have a look here, shall we? So we have Mongolia at war with Buyatia, which is quite interesting. Um, Buatia being here, so I can imagine Mongolia isn't going to survive l less than a decade. I could, I can imagine, because they're just since uh, being converted to Europa, they've just been so weak. I don't know what happened. They've just become extremely goddamn weak. Um, is the Papal States at war? Yes, they are. They're at war with the Ibramids, Aztec, and Musia. So let's have a look. Ah, see, now we've got a load of wars coming up now. So let's see if we can find the Papal States. That'd be quite interesting. Maj. Well, we have the Aztecs at War of the Incas again. Interesting. Uh, where are the Papal States? I'm trying, ah, there they are. Okay, cool. Papal Crusade against Ibramids. Ah, okay. Well, this is quite an interesting war we've got here because the Papal States is friendly with quite a few people, especially Aquitaine and. Uh, ne Neapolis and Bergon, but the Aztecs have made friends with the Ibramids, which are these guys here. So not only is the Papal States facing a two-front war here at the moment, but as it stands, um, as the Ibramids have a huge, and I mean huge, uh, advantage going into here, they are. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but it looks like the Papal States are holding on anyway, so good on them. They seem to be doing quite well actually. Um, they're taking, they're actually encircling a lot of their land here, which is quite interesting. Um, but the Papal States, they, they do have a lot of troops, if I'm not mistaken. Um, let's actually have a look at the ledger quickly and see how good their armies are. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me for my uh, weird croaky or crackly voice today. I don't know what's going on. Let's have a look at the Papal States. See if we can 
the power states. Where are you at? There you are. They've got 26,000 infantry, 3,000 cavalry, and 13,000 artillery. In total, they've got 42,000. That's a lot of fucking troops right there. Jeez. So let's go all the way back up quickly. So they are at the moment 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. They're 7th in the world at the moment, which is very, very interesting. Uh, looks like Bulgaria's got a lot of troops as well. Wow. Uh, anyway, so whilst that war is going on, let's see what else is going on. Uh, okay, so the Aztecs are just being um, demolished by Bougon and some French states there. Um, we have Patro Patrocolis? Is that how you say? Patrocolis. Oh, I don't know how you say that. Um, so, Carpathia is dealing with some rebels at the moment. Uh, looks like Austria is going to be annexed very soon. Azov is having some Perez Savalian separatists with Austrian separatists there as well. Lombardy is dealing with Lombard noble rebels. Let's see what's going on in the Middle East. Ah, here we go. Yeah, so I thought this was going to happen. So, obviously, at the start of the uh, at the start of this, we saw uh, Afghanistan uh, being attacked. Looks like they're at war with another country again, though, and looks like the uh, Afghanistan has been split up into different countries. We have Punjabi separatists. That's interesting. This is going to be quite an interesting uh, session today, because as we go further in this uh, campaign, we're going to see a lot of new countries appear, even if they are like coming in late. We're going to see a lot of new things happen. Uh, interesting wars, obviously. Look at those pretty colours though. Green and white and green and red always looks nice. Anyway, let's see what's going on with the... Uh... Oh shit! Hello! Oh my god! So, at the moment, um, the Aztecs are fighting a two-front war here at the moment. They're fighting against the um, Indian Red Indian tribes here around in America. But not only that though, but they're dealing with obviously the papal states and whatnot so that is very interesting to say the least look at that 42k stack two star as well wow looks like the papal states are really they're uh... They're really getting there aren't they there was something i i uh... i found out the other week that was quite interesting uh... there was this uh... Faction back in, I think the Victorian times maybe, that wanted to form a thing called the Golden Circle uh, around here. So it'd have like Cuba and Mexico and parts of America, I think. Obviously, it never happened in the end, but I thought that was quite interesting to say at least. So, not only that, but we have some Aztec peasants also rising up as well. They're actually fighting off the fucking. Uh... Wait, what the fuck just happened? Oh, hold up a minute. Hold up a minute. Wait a minute. What just happened? Hang on a minute. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What just happened? There... Did, it, did the war just end? Just like that? Yeah, it did. Huh. That's interesting, then, isn't it? I wonder why that happened, then. Interesting. Or was it just against the Ibermids then? Because it wasn't against the Aztecs. Ah. So maybe... I'm not quite sure. How strange. Well, anyway, let's carry on. Pomerania is being destroyed right now by rebels, animists, uh, separatists, uh, pretty much everything. Uh, Zetsu's are... Uh, just being completely overrun by pretender rebels. Uh, what's going on here? Ah, I see, yeah. Afghanistan is still being <sighs> taken chunk by chunk here. <laughs> I feel so sorry for him. I feel so sorry for Afghanistan. They they came out from being from the Mongolian Empire and then they just died again, completely destroyed again. So we have some uh, jallied separatists here is strange because they're taking over oh right okay basically um, it's a rebel versus rebel war at the moment which is interesting yeah Zetsu uh, came back nice 
Yeah, like I said before, guys, I'm sorry if I won't be able to convert UE UE4 into convert uh, into um, Victoria 2. It does fucking suck. Don't get me wrong. I am disappointed myself, but at the same time.